trying to fix Brent Spence Bridge over here. I'm hoping it gets passed. I'm hoping people like John Boehner and the rich people in this country will look out a little bit for the poor class and give the jobs up. Who knows? Um, well, as far as the jobs bill, I was able to listen to this resident's speech uh, with his address, um, and I think that what he was talking about was sound. You know, both Republicans and Democrats have voted on, on different things before in the past that have helped the economy out, and I think right now is the best time for us to get back together. We had the first stimulus go out, uh, now this is, the, and that was to clean up what we did for eight years and all the other stuff that we had going on, and now that he has a new jobs plan out and everything, I think we really need to be behind this, so that way we can all help each other out to get out here. I'm just, I do have a job, it's a part-time job, um, I'm just working as a server, making pretty good money, but yeah, I, I am looking for a full-time job, I just uh, graduated from uh, architectural school, and um, I'm a little bit nervous right now because, well, trying to find a job, because in the past, the past two years, the past three years, my program has offered pretty much, it was pretty much 95% ratio, well, 95% of the students who went into my program had full-time jobs, and then in the past two years, only like 15 percent of the kids are getting jobs with uh, for architectural. I mean, they wanted something that no other president gave us. They wanted something done in his first terms. Like, I, I mean, he accomplished some things, but they wanted that first year, everybody got a hundred thousand dollars. Second year, we shutting the Republicans down. You know, just the stuff that they was looking for. It's just, if you look at past history, it's just not things that's going to happen overnight. Now, you know, you, the scary part is what's going to happen when it's time to vote. While I'm standing here today, I, I want to I wanna hear who I'm going to be voting for for the next fall. And right now I'm undecided because I don't doubt that everybody's trying to do the right thing, but there's too many uh, unanswered questions that I, that I need before the voting season.